hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is hannah tiga don't forget to comment like and subscribe in this video i'll be showing you how to make flared pants or flared trousers first of all i'm gonna construct the pattern before i transfer to a fabric so i've got my vertical line and my horizontal line already this flared pan pattern will be different slightly from other ones i have on my channel you want to start by taking your vertical measurement from your waistline to the hip you want to add your hip measurement make the marking and you want to add your crotch line measurement as well from the waist sometimes you can divide your hip circumference by four that will give you your crotch line and now you want to roll horizontal line around the hip and the crotch line now you want to add your waist measurement which is your waist circumference divided by four whatever you have make the marking and you need to add your one inch that allowance as well now you want to add your dart and that's your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two whatever you have make the marking and make sure that that is one inch wide you make the marking on your waistline and construct your dart and you want to come down by five inches there make the marking and draw the lines Now you want to add your horizontal hip line measurement, which is your hip circumference divided by four. You want to make the marking, add two inches to your hip, whatever you have on the hip, add two inches to it for your crotch line and make the marking. Connect all the dots together. Above your waist point there, you want to come up by half an inch or one inch. And also half an inch or one inch on the other line, horizontal line. Connect it like that. Then blend it to the hip line. This will form your hip curve. You want to come over there and add half an inch make the marking and blend it to the crotch this will give you a new line now you want to add your knee line measurement so from the waist make the marking and roll a line across now you want to come in from the side there by half an inch or one inch come in by half an inch or one inch add your knee circumference measurement so your knee circumference divided by two whatever you have had it not divided by four divided by two then had half an inch is allowance over there then connect it to the crotch so this is what you would have now you want to add the length of the pant Draw a line and construct your flare. So you want to come out by two inches or three inches, whatever you want, how much of flare you want. On that side, then you do the same on the other side. And you can apply the slash and spread method as well. 
but with this pattern I'm not slashing and spreading. Once the front panel was constructed, I added allowance all the way around 1.5 inches for the hem allowance and half an inch all the way around. Now we're going to be constructing the back panel and for that you want to find the midpoint between the waistline and your hip line on your front panel. Rule a line across and we're going to be slashing. Now you want to grab a fresh paper for your back panel, place the front panel on it and open up the slashed area. You need 2 inches over there. Grab your ruler or your tape measure and mark 2 inches. Then reconstruct the back panel. Now you want to take your time and draw your lines all the way around. And you're gonna be coming out by the crotch line there by one inch or by 1.5 inches one inch then come down again by one inch or one and a half inches so that's an extension for the back panel Once the slash and spread has been applied for the back panel guys, you should have your back panel over there lifted on the back and as you can see the front panel is lowered towards that bit and the back panel is high at the back. So this is what we want and this is what we have achieved here. Now you want to cut the back panel making sure all the lines especially the dart is transferred on it and you want to seal back the front panel it goes back to its normal shape Now you want to cut facing for your pants, both the front panel and the back panel. Do that by placing a fresh paper again and determine how much of the length you want for your facing. But here on the paper I've marked 2 inches down. You want to construct the waistline draw it out and cut out you will need two pieces for each two facing for the front panel and two facing for the back panel When you're sewing, you place the facing like that, right side facing right side, and you flip it over like that, and that forms the bandless pant.
this is the fabric used for the pants so all the measurements on my pattern paper were transferred and the pants was made Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, look after yourself and bye for now.